And now it's time for the Keith Delmar Morning Mindset with you, sir, Keith Delmar. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Brian. I'm wearing a pirate hat, Brian. What am I doing? I tell you, today's topic, absolute, pure, solid gold. And I'm going to get digging for it. Got the pirate's hat on. We're going to go search for some gold, okay? In the studio today, we're getting excited. Everybody, listen up. Um, thanks for joining us today. This is the Keith Delmar Morning Mindset. And today's Morning Mindset is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a big one, really tough one to think about and bring into our lives. But hopefully, uh, I'm going to share a couple stories with you today. And hopefully, they'll help you um, get in touch with forgiveness for yourself, for your family. So forgiveness, I want to describe it and talk about it for just a moment. So what do we have with forgiveness? Uh, forgiveness, we've got two things happening. Why do we even have to give forgiveness? Well, let's say something happens to us physically or something happens to us emotionally. These are two things we might have to forgive. But there's a part of us deep, deep inside that awesome eternal spark, that spark that we all have, this pure, bright, 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 bright light, perhaps, inside of us, that spark, that's untouched. Nobody can touch that. It's perfect. Doesn't, doesn't get harmed in any ways. We don't even have to forgive anything for that because it can't be touched. But it's the physical. It's the emotional. These things come in from other people in our lives, from or even from ourselves, and we get beat up. And sometimes we need to think, I need to forgive, but I can't. Now, how to forgive? Maybe we need to deep, deep, dive deep, dig deep to that really, really central point in ourselves, that perfect place where forgiveness is like, what? It's like, yeah, we're here. We're all good. We're perfect. So let me tell you a story. When I was six years old, my mom thought I had a bit of talent. And she thought, I'm going to get Keith on television. But I was an odd-shaped little kid. I was growing up. Okay, I had this uh, bit of a belly. I had a very big bum. And a uh, very big, uh, big rear side. And um, so when I went to this talent agency, they looked and they said, oh, he's real cute. He, he, he's, he's a real cute kid. Um, they gave me some lines. They taught me a commercial to read off in the air. And then um, I did, the, did my lines, learned everything. And they had a few people going for the role. And the talent agent, she, she, her name was Carrie. She, she said to me, she says, let me, let, me, uh, let me describe how you look to you. And she put her hands, I'll do this on Facebook. You gotta watch the video to see this, okay? So if you're not listening on the radio this morning, please go to the Facebook page today and watch this. This is a true story, and this happened to me again when I was six years old. This woman, Carrie, she, she went, put her hands in front of me, and she showed my shape to me. Big belly, a big rear side, and she said, you're a bit of a funny shape. This is her reason for not putting on, me on TV. I was crushed, six years old, crushed. I spent a lifetime, 30... 30 years holding this inside that I wasn't the right shape. I was a man with uh, that grew up and came into a pretty good shape, you know, a nice healthy shape. <laughs> but I carried this hurt and anger for a long time. And I used to think, how am I going to get over this? Am I going to, you know, write her a letter and call her a bunch of names? I thought about that. I think I did that a few times, but it didn't do anything for me. It wasn't until I went really deep inside to that, that place that I'm talking about, right? And from that place, I wrote her a letter. I said, Dear Carrie, Keith here, just wanted you to know that it's taken me 30 years to write this letter. On and on it went. But in the end, I told her, Hey, let's, I forgive you, first of all, and let's, let's bring love into the world. And I'd let her know how much it hurt me and how she probably didn't even realize how much it hurt my emotional state. And I said, let's bring some love into the world. Could you do that with me? Could you join me in this mission? And that's kind of the letter I wrote. And believe me, that day I stopped telling that story to people, except for today, thanks for listening. 
because I was able to release it and forgive it from my life. Now, do I have time for one more, Brian? You've got less than a minute. But less you than can do a minute? It. You can okay. do it. Okay. I met a man the other day going through a divorce. His psychologist said, hey, forgiveness is a hard thing. Perhaps trying not to forgive yourself, trying to allow forgiveness to come inside you and forgive. So allow some forgiveness into you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for listening. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being here. See you on Facebook.